everyone, I'm Lisa Curcio, and I'd love to welcome you here to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Today is April 1st. It is 2024 as the year, and we are streaming live. I am so glad that you are here with me. Now, if this is your first time, I'm going to give you fair warning. This is nothing like any of my other videos. So I would encourage you to go and watch any of the others. But it's been a special night here, and I wanted to share lots of brand new and unboxing Stampin' Up! products with you for the 2024 annual catalog that is debuting on May 1st. And the best part, we're going to do a live chat giveaway throughout the night. Now, we'll probably be going a little bit longer than normal, but I've got so much in store for you. And I've got some fun little tips along the way with some of these products. Now, as always, Gina curcio Holly is with me right now in the live chat. You'll see her name in blue off to the side. She is my daughter. She's an avid stamper and a member of Lisa's Stamp Studio. She's our sales and marketing director. She's here in the live chat because there's no way I can keep up with you while I'm chatting. So she's going to answer your questions. But I also want to make sure that you know there is going to be a live Q&A at the end of tonight's stream. So hang around. I want to let you know how you can put your questions in. You'll need to put the letter Q and a colon and then your questions. And then I can filter those towards the end of tonight's live stream and I can answer some of those for you live. Obviously with many of you here, I can't get to them all, but I'm always happy to try to answer the most common questions. All right, I've got an agenda on the wall. My monitor is over here to the side. This is intended to be a very personal event with lots of fun. It's not practice and polished, although I have everything lined up and ready to share with you. So I'll be glancing from time to time to make sure that you know how everything is going to work and I don't miss all the fun stuff to share with you. So welcome, welcome to all of you. As always, if you enjoy what you see along the way, make sure you click that thumbs up. It helps me a ton here on YouTube. And if it's your first time and you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button and the bell icon and the word all. If you do that, YouTube will send you notifications when I'm here on YouTube so you don't miss anything. All right, let's face it. We all love free stuff, right? So here I'm going to reach for my buttons. So let's talk about Prize Patrol. When Prize Patrol comes up this evening throughout the night, I have a total of six giveaways. You'll see this icon picture pop up. So let's talk about how you enter and how you redeem if you are a random winner. So our software here, which is off to the side, you'll see me glancing, uses a random list picker. So it'll scroll and then it'll pop up a name on the screen and that person will be the winner of the prize that I indicate. All right, but how do you enter? You're gonna need to place your name, city and state. No other personal information, please. Remember this is a public platform and we wanna protect you. And then when um, it's done, I'll tell you to stop and then it'll start scrolling and pick a name. All right, that's how it's gonna work. Don't do it yet, I'll let you know. So we're gonna do the six giveaways throughout the live stream and throughout the unboxing of these brand new products, okay? Just wanna make sure you all know how that's gonna be done. All right, now, while you're listening, I wanna make sure that you are logged in to your YouTube account. If you are not logged in, you can't live chat, which means you cannot win. We can only give away winners through the live chat. So right now, log into your YouTube account using your email address, that's your Gmail address, and log in so that you can live chat and win, okay? I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do that. And while we're doing that, I wanna to talk to you about this because we are getting flooded with emails. Online stamping retreat. Now, if you're brand new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna fill you in because we're letting some people log on and catch up. Online stamping retreat. Gina and I do this event partnered with Kylie and Bruno Bertucci from Australia. She's the number one Stampin' Up! demonstrator there. And this is a full day of online demonstrations that are live. It's all done through YouTube, private links. It's super amazing. And the best part is everything is recorded, which means you have lifetime access if you can't join us live all day. It's going to be on Saturday, May 25th, if you're here in the US, Canada, in the UK, and May 26th, of course, if you're abroad. But we hope that you'll join us. You can now click on onlinestampingretreat.com, go there right now, and click to join the wait list. If you join the wait list, we will send you an email, no frills attached, no obligation, when registration opens. Are you ready? April 26th. 
It's $45 for the entire day. And oh, did I mention there's 50 giveaways throughout the day? Again, you do not have to participate live to enjoy any of this, but we hope that you'll be there with us. It's a really, really fun day and really important. It's an exclusive fun fold card making event, which means we all got fun folds for you. You're going to love this. Many of you have joined us before. Give us a shout out here in the live chat and tell everyone how much fun that you've had. All right, that's giving you plenty of time to log in. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our very first prize patrol. I'm picking up the first thing that I have here. And by the way, if you've never been here with Lisa Stamp Studio before, you're gonna know I don't give away junk. <laughs> I always give away brand new nice products and I have a bundle. And this bundle is called Spimply Sparkling. That's a mouthful. Simpling Sparkling. I wanna tell you right now, I'm on day 10 of COVID. So if I sound congested and a little raspy, it's because I still am. I'm sufficiently drugged up with over-the-counter medication, cough medicine, and Sudafed. So please forgive me if I sound a little rattly. But Simply Sparkling is the bundle. Do you guys see it there? Super cute. Stamps and dies. This is an online exclusive product, which means it's still available to purchase, but maybe you're going to be the free winner. All right, so I'm going to rubber band them together because we're going to do a lot of giveaways tonight. So what I want you to do right now is to put in your first name, last name, city, and state. Go. Now, while you're doing that, those of you that are watching that are not signed in or perhaps you're watching the replay, I want to make sure you know all about my Stamp Studio memberships. We're going to talk a little bit about that later. But if you go over to lisastampstudio.com, you're going to be able to click on memberships up in the corner. And it's going to give you lots of information on how you can get free, sorry, Weekly tutorials, they're going to come into your inbox for $5 for the whole month. I think I'm kind of focused on the free thing tonight, right? All right, I see you guys entering. This is so much fun. Please keep in mind, if for some reason you don't want the product, don't enter. That's really, really important. Okay, I see your name is rolling in. Remember with a live stream, there is a delay between when I speak and when you hear it and when you type and I see it. So I want to make sure I give you guys a lot of chance there. Okay, we're gonna move over now to the prize patrol screen. Make sure you've got your names in. This is our very first one. So we're gonna do this the rough way. All right, are we ready? I'm gonna do a little bit of a drum roll. And let's see who the winner is. It is Roxana. Look at you, Roxana. You just won a Simply Sparkling Bundle. So this is what you need to do, Roxana you need to email me at lisa at lisastampstudio.com. Let me move your name out of the way, Roxana, so that you can see the address there on the screen. Just send me an email and say, I'm a prize patrol winner during your life, and I'll be happy to mail this to you. Just make sure you give me your name and your mailing address. Do not put that here on YouTube once again. This is a public domain and we want to give away your private information. Okay, congratulations to Roxana. She's our first winner. Okay, I've got your stuff put aside for you, Roxana, and we are going to move on. Okay, let's talk about this. Right now, Stampin' Up! is in the midst of a large last chance sale. That's right. There is a huge list of products from the current annual and mini catalog that are being retired. Some are discounted up to 60% off. So all I'm going to tell you is to make sure that you start shopping tomorrow. Have your little wish list ready. You can use the online store at my website, lisastampstudio.com, and click on Shop. And if it's retiring, it's going to say that in red right underneath the product. You'll be able to see the discounted prices when they go live. Please remember that last chance and retiring products fly off the shelves. And that's because they're never going to be sold again. Okay, so they're only while supplies last. If you need an ink refill for a retiring color, if you want core products such as cardstock, envelopes, glue, get them now because guess what? Here's the next thing. Some of those core product prices are going up, just like everything in life. Have you been to the grocery store lately? I know, right? So I'm seriously thinking that we need chickens instead of buying eggs. I think you all get it. Right now, such things as cardstock, ink refills, stamp and blends, alcohol markers, liquid glue, glue dots, those prices are going up a dollar or more. Now, if you're interested in knowing what's going up, I got good news for you. I'm providing a list for you down in the video description below. Just scroll below the title and you'll see it. 
that says price increases. And if you click on that, you can download the list. It's as comprehensive as we think that we have gotten together. Um, it was a, con a conglomeration of a bunch of demonstrators who put all this information together. It wasn't just me. So I wanna make sure you see all those. And it has the product, the current price, the new price, and what the increased price is gonna to be to make it easy for you to shop. I wanna make sure that you are well aware of that, okay? So that's what's coming up there. Um, you know, because we've got a lot of prize patrols, so what do you think we should just do another one? I mean, this is gonna be so much fun tonight, just giving away a lot of stuff and seeing new things along the way. All right, prize patrol time, which means right now in the live chat, I want you to put your first name, last name, city and state, no other personal information, go ahead and go. Now, if you're not aware of this, at lisastampstudio.com, just go all the way to the bottom. There's a little area there that you can fill out your name and email address. And I would love to add you to my free weekly e-newsletter. Yes, you'll always be the first to know what's going on, when the next event is on YouTube, all the cool things about online stamping retreat. And guess what? The latest tutorials I add to my PDF tutorial library. So make sure you sign up for my newsletter. We would love to have you join us. It's no frills. So just go over to my website, scroll to the bottom, and just stay in the know of what's going on here. All right, I see that a lot of names are coming in. They're coming in so quickly that the actual screen is just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. All right, so let's do a drum roll, and I'm going to let it pick one. And the winner is, oh, it picks something that doesn't have an actual name. So Allison was congratulating Roxanne, so we're going to take her off, and we're going to let it scroll again, and let's see where it's going to stop. There we go. We have Sharon Land from Sacramento, California. Hey, Sharon. You're the winner of, ready? I have the Everyday Detail dies for you, brand new, ready to go to your house. Sharon, you need to email me at lisa at lisastampstudio.com and I will send you these dies, okay? I'm looking forward to receiving an email for you. I'm putting those in the sold pile, given away pile. Congratulations to you, Sharon. Super excited for her. We're gonna move her name off the screen. Please keep in mind, we've got lots more giveaways coming up, so don't be discouraged. There's a lot of people here. I would love to give you all something. That's just not possible. All right, I also wanna make sure as a reminder that you understand that giveaways are gifts, which means they cannot be exchanged, they cannot be returned. If for some reason your name is chosen as a random winner and you get something that you didn't want, guess what? Pay it forward to a stamping friend, you'll be their new best friend, or donate it to a worthy cause. Assisted living facilities, schools, nursing homes, they love this kind of thing. Um, please, please keep that in mind. We are love that you're all here with us tonight. All right, let's talk about what's next. It's this, look at the cover of that brand new annual catalog. Now, at first glance, you might be thinking, hmm, what are we selling? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I thought the same thing when I took a look at that. But I have to tell you, when I showed it to Gina, she had the perfect description for what it is. She goes, Mom, it looks like a magazine. And you know what? She's absolutely right. You're going to notice it's thinner than it was in the past, but don't let that discourage you. I'm never going to tell you something that I don't heartfully believe. And I'm gonna tell you right now that the photography of the samples in this book is the best you'll have ever seen with Stampin' Up. Not that they weren't bad before, but now as a magazine, all the samples are laid out beautifully in a color flat format. So you're not hunting and picking those samples between products. So things are in sections. So in other words, suites are together with all the samples. It's gonna be so much easier for you as a creator to use the catalog as a creation tool. So I know you're going to love it. The other thing is, let's face it, aren't we all trying to raise the next generation of stamper? I know I love to stamp with my daughter. She sees things in a different light than I do and I love to create with her and I know she enjoys creating with me. So I want a catalog that I can show to my kids and even my grandkids in the future and say, hey, what do you wanna make? And they're inspired by what they see. I want you to be able to have stamping friends. I want you to be able to have family you stamp and create with. And I think this catalog does a great job of that. It is laid out a little bit differently, but I think you're going to love it because you're going to find that all the samples are at the beginning of every suite of products so that you can easily see how everything works together. And not to mention there's a great index in the back 
that's broken down into categories for you. So you don't worry, you're gonna find your way around. Now, many people say to me, how can I get a catalog? Great question. If you are one of my existing customers and you have spent at least $50 in the last six months, I got you covered. Your catalog has already been sent information to Stampin' Up and the labels are being generated now and they will be mailed out. You should have them by the end of April. Please keep in mind they are sent bulk mail. It's the only way we can afford to do this. So some rural areas may take a little bit longer to get there. If you are not already a customer, you got time to place your $50 product order in my online store, choosing me as your demonstrator. And just let me know you want a catalog. I'll be happy to send it to you for free. If you're not sure you want to purchase, but you want a catalog, we offer options for that as well. You're going to get that information over on my website under shop and catalogs. We would love to get you in a catalog in your hands. I know you're absolutely going to love it. Now, there's one other thing about this catalog that's new, a QR code. And there's numerous ones all over the catalog. Now, if you're like me, as my daughter calls me, a baby boomer, right? I'm in my 60s. We're probably not hip on QR codes. However, I think we all learned how to use them during COVID, didn't we? The menu, your pickup, go get your groceries, everything was in a QR code. It doesn't mean you have to use them, but I want to give you a little word of caution about the QR codes that you're going to find in the brand new catalog. They will land you directly to the Stampin' Up! website, not to a specific demonstrator. So if you choose to shop with me, I would say it's safer if you go to my website at lisastampstudio.com and click on shop or make sure you're shopping with me when you're shopping if you want to earn my rewards. Okay, this is holds true with every demonstrator. It's not just with me. So use the, those QR codes if you love them, but just be cautious of where you're shopping so that you're shopping with the right person. Okay, just a little public service announcement because I know a lot of people don't understand them and I know I didn't in the beginning as well. Enough talking. How about if we do some more prize patrols? That sound good? Right now, I'm going to give you a few seconds for you to put in your first name, last name, city and state, no other personal information in the live chat. Go right now. While you're doing that, let's talk a little bit about what's coming up here at Lisa Stamp Studio. Next Monday, which is April 8th. Gosh, doesn't it just seem like we put the Christmas tree away? There will be a brand new premiere here on YouTube. That means Gina and I will be with you both in the live chat as that video premieres for the first time. You are not going to want to miss it because this is a little bit extra special. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five projects for you that I know are going to inspire you. The best part of all, they're easy. They're things you can do in five minutes or less. I hope you'll mark your calendar to join Gina and I here next Monday, April 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, we have all the time zones listed here on the thumbnail when we go ahead and put that premiere up after tonight's live stream is over. All right, again, it's scrolling very, very quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure all of your names are in there. There you guys go. All right, I think I forgot the drum roll last time. And the winner is Helen Warnick. Helen, congratulations to you. You are the winner of the I'm Together Bundle. Look at that, a little bit of a glare there from all those studio lights. Beautiful hourglass stamp set, and it has coordinating dies. And Helen, these are coming to your house as a gift. All you have to do is email me. My address is right there on the screen. And give me your full name and mailing address. Please, again, do not put that here on YouTube because this is a public domain and we don't want to share that information. Okay, congratulations to you, Helen. Super exciting. Let me take Helen's name off the screen. And let's move on to some more exciting stuff. Okay, you guys ready? All right, how about this? What if I told you that brand new, every month, you're going to get two brand new kits from Stampin' Up! Now, they have a large focus on kits in the catalog this year, and for good reason. If you haven't taken a look, maybe you're a seasoned stamper like me, and you're like, oh, I like all the bits and pieces. But you know what? Sometimes our kids, grandkids, those people that have limited space for crafting, love kits. And this is a great time for you to consider purchasing them as gifts or for yourself. And just as a little extra teaser, I got something special for you. So let's go downstairs here to the camera. All right, before we move to the kits, I'm going to move my little buttons off to the side. I want to share this with you. Gina and I were together this last weekend because we were both here, all here recovering from COVID. All four of us had it. The baby, Gina, 
Bob the Builder and I. Um, I'm the lagger. I'm taking the longest, but we did this. This is a rainbow of colors for the brand new Stampin' Up! catalog. I know you might be taking a screenshot and that is totally okay, but I also want to let you know that we have a free, I said free, download for you on my website. All you need to do is go to lisasstampstudio.com and click on Shop Digital Downloads. That's all you need to do. And then you can just capture this for yourself. I am going to tell you, in the brand new catalog, this is my already lovely and worn out book because I've been turning the pages. I cannot open this on camera. It is against all their um, rules and regulations, okay? But inside this catalog, there is a color wheel. Gina and I tweaked it just a little bit because I'm gonna be honest with you, we found the rainbow of colors very suggestive, which means you're gonna be able to put them in the order you like them. Ours are very slightly different than this and we did ours before we ever saw this one because we wanted to make sure that it looked appealing to us from the eye. So when the camera turns back around and it faces me, you'll actually see that rainbow of new colors behind me in my cardstock. All right, but this is free for you under digital downloads, which is under shop. I want to make sure I pointed that out. All right, let's talk about those kits. I've got one here. This kit is debuting tomorrow, April 2nd, and it is called, I got to cheat and look, Hooray for the Honeycombs. Okay, so when you buy a kit with Stampin' Up, this is what I love about it. It comes in a very sturdy box. It's great to store it in. Inside, you're going to find absolutely everything you need to create the project, all right? So if it requires stamps, it's going to have a stamp and a small block. If it requires an ink, it's going to have a small ink spot. In this case, it has all the pre-cut card bases, all the pieces that you're going to need to put your cards together, all the embellishments. You get the dimensionals, you get the blue dots, everything is in the box. The best part about kids is that they're portable. So if you're a mom who has a child in maybe a sport and you're sitting and waiting for practice, make a couple cards. You'll have them on hand for birthdays. Perhaps you know someone in an assisted living facility who loves to craft but doesn't have the space. Perfect gift. Maybe you love to camp in the summer but you don't want to give up your craft supplies. Incredible. Okay, so I took the privilege of doing something for you. I took the contents of this kit and I put several cards together. Now you're going to get printed envelopes as part of the kit. All right. And look at, ready? Oh, look at that, that little honeycomb pop-up. Now it was designed to put on the outside if you were hand delivering the card. Frankly, that didn't make sense to me if I'm being honest. So I am putting mine on the inside. And here's what I love about this. You can take the kit contents and do whatever you want. So this is card number one that comes in the kit. This is card number two that comes in the kit. Boy, I needed a graduation card, so the timing on this was perfect. Are you ready? Oh, come on, stop. Is that not adorable? Can you even hear the paper crinkling? This is all going to fit in a regular standard envelope. Look how pretty. And it's not going to need any extra postage because the honeycomb folds flat. I love getting these when we're together for family outings simply because if it's Thanksgiving, if it's 4th of July, they're always looking for something to do while we're waiting for the food, right? I break out a kit, whether it's paper pumpkin or one of these kits. Now here is the last one, cuteness overload, because I don't know about you, the most frequent card I make is birthday. And look at the inside. Oh, so cute. And I love that the inside are white so that you can go ahead and sign and write it. But you know what? I decided to do something extra for you. While these are all adorable, and absolutely open the box, put them together, okay? I thought, could I use the contents to make a very simple fun fold? No other products other than what's in the box. And I did, okay, I'm gonna share it with you. Same exact envelope we just saw on this card here. I did nothing on the outside because look at those beautiful laminated balloons, right? So this is what I did on the inside. I took another card and I cut it slightly smaller and I did a very simple W fold. That's what this is called. Do you see the letter? It might look like an M to you. I took the actual greeting that's pre-printed and I put it from the outside to the inside, add a little extra baker's twine and put my honeycomb here. It doesn't compromise any of the area here in order to write and sign. Now I know one of you is going to ask me, and I made this last week, so let's just measure. It's one and three quarters. And basically what I did is I literally folded it in half 
and then folded it in half again, and that gave me four sections. Super duper easy. So see, folded it again and folded it in half, glued those down with the glue dots that were included inside the kit. Fantastic. Now, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription. Kits you buy, and it's a one-time purchase, and it's all-inclusive. Either way, you cannot go wrong. Absolutely incredible. And I don't think kits are getting enough airtime. So I wanted to make sure that you knew about them and how amazing they are. So consider them. I think they're a great crafting experience, especially if you're short on time and you need to bang out a bunch of cards. All right, so let's go ahead and put that off to the side. And uh, let's take a look here. Guess what? It's time for Prize Patrol again. Yay! How exciting is that? All right, this is what we're giving away now. Oh, I pulled up the wrong stack. Hold on. I got another stack right here. This is the two-tone flora bundle. It's the stamp set and the coordinating dies. We're going to give these two a lucky random winner. So as always, I'm reaching for my buttons. I want to make sure that you know, first name, last name, city, state, no other personal information. Put it in the live chat right now, and it's going to begin to populate. Again, we're 10 seconds behind between when I speak and when you hear it and when you type and the computer sees it. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that now. As a reminder, some core products are going up in prices as of May 1st. If you want cardstock, you want ink refills, you want stamp and blends markers, uh, you want glue, you want glue dots, now is the time. And I got a sad, sad story. Vellum is being retired. I know, I wish I had a boo button. But you're not going to stop seeing me use it. It's one of my very, very favorite products. And I know many of you love it and you love to see different uses of it. So I'll still incorporate it in with the Stampin' Up! products as well. So go ahead and put your names in right now. I can see it's populating very, very quickly. So we're going to go ahead and start that drum roll now. All right. And it's scrolling. It's scrolling. i got to wait for it to stop. There we go. And here is our winner. So shine through me. I love that handle name. Congratulations, Sharon Wilcox from Silver Springs, Maryland. You are the winner of the Two-Tone Flora. You'll see my email address right here on the screen. Go ahead and email me. I need your mailing address, please. I do not know how to send this to you if you don't email me. Congratulations to you. So excited for you, Sharon. That is fantastic, fantastic news. All right, I'm looking at my little agenda here. And how about if we get down into the nitty gritty of some of the brand new core products that you're going to see in the catalog. Are you ready? All right, here we go. I'm going to move those out of the way. And as I told you, I'm recovering from COVID. So I want to make sure you can hear me. So I'm getting a quick, quick drink. This said that it was muted. So I need someone to let me know that you can hear me. It looks like you can. The very first thing we're going to go over right now our brand new bundles. Now I'm bringing over a huge stack of products, so bear with me here. So let's start with some stamps, okay? The first is this, it's called Country Flowers. So it's the stamp set and the coordinating dies. Now I should also, also pause and tell you, as demonstrators, we are able to pre-order certain products. And just like all of you, I want it all, but that is not realistic. So I pick and choose because there are lots more things that I want so I can spread my finances um, just perfectly, right? Just like you, no different than you are. So I don't have everything. I picked out my favorites. So Country Flowers, okay, we've already used this, which is why it's on one of my magnetic sheets. Now, if you're looking at those magnetic sheets and you're wondering where to get them, if you head over to my website and click on Shop My Favorite Things, You'll be able to scroll and get to the stamp and storage information, which is where I bought these, as well as all this, um, the storage that you see behind me in my videos. The best part about this bundle, are you ready? It has a sister bundle that goes with it. That's called Country Birdhouse. Now, the one thing you might need to know about me, if you don't already know, is I love birds. I have my whole life, I have this thing with cardinals, Gina will tell you. Um, I love them. So when I saw the birdhouse, I was like squeal. And then I saw the dies and I was a double squeal because I don't have to do any fussy cutting, which I personally don't mind. But look at the stand for the birdhouse. Will you please? And I love the bird dies and all the small accessories in here. You can hang it. You can perch it. I love it because look at the artwork is the same, which means you can mix and match these. And you'll see me doing this. Now, part of this suite 
You can buy all of these things individually. Obviously, if you buy as a bundle, which is the stamps and the dies, you're going to save 10%. That's what you're going to want to do if you want them, okay? But anything I'm going to show you can be bought individually starting May 1st, all right? So let me put these off to the side, and let me show you what else comes with it. Now, I took the liberty of typing out these little silly names for you because when I've done these in the past, you guys are like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the words. <laughs> so I've got you covered. So here's the words. This is called Country Woods. Now, these are the designer series papers that are in the package as part of the suite that I just showed you with these. Okay, they're meant to coordinate. Are you ready? Okay, Stampin' Up! Designer Series papers have won awards year after year and for good reason. These weathered wood grains are absolutely beautiful. Not just for country cards, might I add, but how about for those masculine cards? Those outdoorsy cards, those shabby chic vintage cards, right? Look at this. Oh my gosh. But wait till I flip it over. Double-sided. Here we go. Called Country Woods. Look at the tones. Look, look, look. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. I absolutely fell in love with these. The best part of these kind of designer series papers is you can actually die cut from these papers to make your die cut images look real. Okay, there we go. So this one has someone's name on it. I saw that. So that's Country Woods. I'm going to put that off to the side. And guess what? Just like I told you, it has a sister designer series paper. And this one is called Country Lace. Now, here comes my little apology. <laughs> this is all I've got left of the two sheets of this one because Gina and I are already designing our fun fold cards for the online stamping retreat. So this is all we've got left. Don't worry. I'm going to order more. Look at this pattern. This is in a brand new in color. Again, double-sided. Pattern goes with a theme on one side, very generic on the other for a reason, so that you can use it all year round. Doesn't it feel like you could kind of like touch it? Beautiful. Okay, so here was one. Let me show you the others. So here is the next one. Oh, so pretty. Almost looks like linen, doesn't it? You might be thinking, what color is that? We'll pause there. We'll come back to that. Look at this. Look at this. And look at this. Now, grays are making a big appearance this year, my friends. And I'm going to flip them over, which we've done with this one here, and take a look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? Absolutely breathtakingly beautiful papers. Uh, this is a must-have. And as you can see, this is all I have left. So the Country Lace Designer Series paper are going back on my list for tomorrow. So we'll have more papers there. The other great thing about this suite are these. Look at these are called the Basic Gray and Smoky Slate Pearls. Now, you're going to see they come in two sizes and two shapes. Well, I should say that again. Two colors and two sizes. Too much Sudafed for Lisa. <laughs> All right. So we've got the Smoky Slate and we've got the Basic Gray, which are the darker ones. You've got the smaller ones and the larger ones. They have adhesive glue dots already on the back. Totally perfect because it blends gorgeous with all of these beautiful papers. I mean, you're just gonna fall in love with all of this and of course the embellishment and the stamps and dies. So that again is a suite called Country Woods and again, everything is sold separately so that you can pick and choose. All right, let me move these off to the side because we got lots more fun stuff to go. Are you ready? All right, from the bundles now, I wanna move on to individual, oh, I've got one more bundle I wanna show you. I almost forgot. Let me grab it off my table. I had to have my husband bring in a six-foot table from the garage because there were so many things lined up. This is called the Tension Shoppers. Here's another Lisa fun fact. I do love to shop, and not just for stamping supplies. I, if that was a career, a shopping career, which I think there is, you could actually be a certified shopper, this would make me so happy. For me, it's the hunt. Anybody else? I love to shop. So when I saw this, I was like, I love the art because it's super easy to use. But you know what else I love about that? This shopping cart, oh, by the way, there's a die. So you can die cut it solid or you can die cut it from the stamped image. Love it because it's in a fantastic price point as well. That's another great thing about the new catalog. You're going to see some bundles in a much lower price point to be able to accommodate everybody, whether they're new to stamping or they're seasoned because don't we want it all? I can put pumpkins in here. Come on, anybody else with me with a small Christmas tree, Christmas decorations, Christmas gifts? I love that they're small accessories. These can all be used individually or, of course, put into the attention shoppers basket. So this is an additional bundle. You can buy it together. 
for savings of 10% or of course you can buy it separately. Okay, so that's the next one. I have one other bundle, let me reach for it. This one is a little bit more extensive, so I've got to bring in some stuff. Bear with me here. This is called Layers of Beauty. Now, some of you may recall Enduring Beauty, I think is what it's called. It's in the mini catalog. It has cascading flowers. Well, this is kind of what I'm going to call, quote unquote, a sister bundle. But look at these roses. The artwork is absolutely stunning. Oh, happy anniversary. How many of you have been asking for that? I know I have. Raise your hand. Coordinating dies. Look at the little tag die. Now, if this is not enough, let me just tell you what they added. How about these? These are the Layers of Beauty decorative masks. Now, if you're looking at them going, oh, why is yours pink? Well, I'll show you. So what I did is I took a piece of cardstock and I stamped it with this image. I did use my Misty stamp positioner because the arthritis is horrible and I can't press out a nice design. So the Misty is the way to go. You'll find it linked on my website under Shop My Favorite Things. But this is not colored in with any coloring medium other than this, a blending brush. Are you ready? Let me show you how this works. I love my artboard because I was finding that I was wasting a ton of paper, a ton. Because when I'm using these, I need to do two things. I wanted to put a little adhesive on here to hold it down to my artboard. And then obviously if I'm using scratch paper underneath here, I have to throw it away. So I use my favorite low tack frog tape and I save all the pieces that I use because you could use it numerous times. Roll up a small piece, put it on the back and then stick it on your artboard, okay? Now you're gonna see a pencil mark up here which is probably not gonna work really well right now, but it'll make sense in just a second. These stencils are numbered one through five. And it might be really hard to see them on camera. Can you see them up here at the top? I'm trying to see if you can see them. If not, in person, you certainly can. You're going to take number one. This is a no-brainer. You're going to line this up on the outline stamped image. And what I did is I took my pencil right on my artboard and I traced out the notch. Okay? But because I didn't want it to use, I didn't want it to move, I should say, I took these pieces and I tack down my stencil in a couple places. I never pick up my ink from an ink pad. Never, 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 never. Because it soaks up too much ink. Instead, what I do is I pick up my ink from an ink block and I use it from here. And then I pick up my ink like this. I find it wastes less and it doesn't suck all the ink out of my ink pad from them that spot. Once it's tacked down, I'm just using stencil one which is the light, pretty, and pink that you see here. You take that off, and guess what, right? You go to stencil two, look at, see there's that pencil mark. We're gonna line this up, you guys with me? And the exact same thing, you're gonna go over it with your blending brush that left us the next darkest one. And I did it again and again and again. All five produced this, which means uh, no work, no sitting and coloring for hours. When you're all done, give it a twist so you don't rip your cardstock, and this is what you get. Is this not stunning? And because I know you're going to ask me what colors, I'm going to tell you. It's pretty and pink. Melon Mambo and Poppy Parade. I know, right? And then I did Lemon Lime Twist and Granny Apple Green for the leaves. Isn't this stunning? So, so pretty and effortless. The ink hack is going to save you a ton of ink. I see your comment, Claudia. It's also going to save you from wasting ink that goes all the way down into your bristles of your blending brush. Now, a lot of you ask about blending brushes. I dedicate them to each color family, so I have numerous. It's because I do a lot of stamping. But if you can't do that, don't panic. I took an old bottle and I put rubbing alcohol in it and I sprayed it on a paper towel. And then if you rub your blending brush on it, you're going to see all the ink gets soaked out. I have a YouTube short on this right here on my YouTube channel on how to clean your blending brushes. Look it up. It is a time saver and a money saver. If you can't buy all the tools, I totally, totally get it. So the Layers of Beauty bundle, which is the stamps, of course you can die cut it, and the dies, and of course these amazing layering uh, Layers of Beauty decorative masks. You're gonna want this. I'm also gonna tell you, you're gonna want this. This has been a game changer for me. I'm not wasting scratch paper with all the ink, the other thing is this has a nice coating on it. I can actually still pick up the ink from here and be able to use it again on the stencil. 
The beauty of these stencils, the way Stampin' Up! created them, is they have a slick surface. So when you're blending the ink on here, the ink that's here doesn't dry. So you can pick it up and move it to another area. Just incredible. You're going to absolutely love this. So layers of beauty. Just had to share that one with you. I think it's going to be a favorite. What do you think? I think so. All right, let me move that out of the way. Make a little bit more room because we are quickly moving everything from one side to the other. Now let's talk about the standalone stamp sets. Now again, these are just the ones in the pre-order. Ah, pause. I knew I was going to do this. There's another bundle. Hold on. Let me grab it. All right, are you ready? It's called Flowers of Beauty. Yeah, I know. Flowers and more flowers because we love flowers. You know, it's funny. I asked Stampin' Up, why do you make so many flowers? And you know what their answer was? Because you guys keep buying them. Stampin' Up is known for beautifully artistic floral stamps and dyes. And for good reason. They are widely sold. While there is a great amount of variety in this new catalog, these are pretty exquisite because of the dyes. Look at how many flowers it's going to die cut at one time. Look at the ferns and the foliage that's going to go with this. Absolutely stunning. But if this isn't pretty enough, oh, let me just show you what goes with it. So this designer series paper is called Unbound Beauty. So keep that in mind because as soon as I show it to you, you're going to want it. All right, here we go. So here is the first piece. Oh, oh, is this just not stunning? I'm trying to move this up off your camera view. There we go. Beautiful, rich, berry burst pink hues in here. Here's another one. And I love the of colors. You know, it's funny. When sometimes I see a designer series paper, I'm like, why did they put that color with it? But it works, doesn't it? Designer series paper stretches us. It makes us force us, us actually to use color combinations we would never normally use. Here comes another. Ooh, ooh, ooh isn't that beautiful? And then this one. Again, double-sided. Are you ready? Here we go. Can you not use these all year round? Absolutely. So these papers would be absolutely beautiful on any type of card whatsoever. Unbound Beauty Designer Series Paper. Now this suite also includes some ribbon if you want it. Again, Anything can be bought individually or as a suite. So this is pretty in pink, and this is the basic white. Now these are the new ribbons. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold up this one because I think you'll be able to see it better. Do you see kind of the diagonal print in there? Here's what I love. Look at, no wrong side. Come on, don't you love that for when you make a bow? How many times do you make a bow and never fails, right? You make it and then the wrong side is facing out on one side versus the other side. Don't you just hate that? Never going to happen with this. You're going to love these ribbons. Beautiful cotton finish on these as well. Again, Unbound Beauty Designer Series paper and, of course, this bundle. Really, really pretty stuff. Okay, um, I need to move a couple things around as we have more fun stuff coming your way. Now I promised you the standalone stamp sets. Now there were a couple in the pre-order, and these were the ones that I purchased. The first is called Leaf collection. So this is one large background stamp. Are you ready? Yep, I haven't used it yet, but I intend to. So you might be thinking, mm, one large background stamp. Well, let's talk about this. If you love to heat emboss, do it. Do it in white, do it in color, do it however you like. If you love to fussy cut like me, cut yourself some leaves and add them to all different types of stamp sets and images. You cannot go wrong with a background stamp. Use it and then put a greeting on it, add a bow and call it done. Absolutely beautiful because leaves are always wonderful, especially for masculine cards as well. The next one is a greeting set that I purchased. It's called Simply Said. Can't go wrong with words and I love these because they're basic. I love that we've got different fonts inside of here so you can determine how bold or how subtle you want, whether how long or how short. So gonna work in lots of different die cut shapes and punches as well. All right, so those are the stamp sets right now. I have one more thing to show you. We're going to do more prize patrol, okay? How about an embossing folder? This is called the Islet 3D Embossing Folder. I did it on Boho Blue cardstock. It is a th thick 3D embossing folder, which means it's thicker than your regular folder. I love this because it's going to give you a nice, deep impression. Now, Stampin' Up! sells a specialty plate to go with the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine so you don't have to jerry-rig all your cutting plates. I highly recommend it for your Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. But look at this, and look at the other side. 
I mean, you can get totally two different looks from this and just think of all the cool things that you can do. Don't forget, embossed backgrounds don't just have to be a layer on your card. You can die cut these shapes. How about that birdhouse, right? Or circles, squares, rectangles, you name it. So another really amazing one to put on your wish list. Now there was one other standalone product that I got, although there are numerous. These are called the Saying Something Emphemera Pack. Now there are different Emphemera Packs in the catalog. And this is the only one that I purchased for right now. Doesn't mean I won't buy more, but are you ready? Are you looking to create nice, simple, quick cards? Oh, you're gonna love these because guess what? These are laser cut readings. All you have to do is pop them out and you're going to be able to add them to your card. Add a little bit of liquid glue to the back and you are good to go. Better yet, if you need something simple, go ahead and take one of these out. So they're already laser cut into a die cut fashion and then they're ready for your card. Best part of all, they're color coordinated to the Stampin' Up! color palette. So there's no guessing here whatsoever. I think you're going to really, really love these. So again, these are the Emphemera packs and there's a variety of these. I got the sayings because I always need sayings and they also have some with florals and other accoutrements as well. All right. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about, uh, let's see, what do we say we do some prize patrol? Oh, it's time to give away some more goodies. Let me reach. All right. I have the mini alphabet dies which are in the new catalog, by the way. They are being carried over. Absolutely versatile. You're going to love these. Right now, what I need you to do is put your first name, last name, city and state in the live chat. Start typing. Go ahead and do that now. I'm going to give you a couple seconds for this to populate with that information. So in order to win, you have to be in the live chat and type that information. Please do not put in your address. This is a public domain and we don't want to share that publicly, okay? Now, for those of you that are just tuning in, this is not like any of my normal videos or live streams, but I'm so glad that you are here. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to encourage you to go look at some of my other videos and learn all about fun folds and color coordination and some easy card making. I would love to have you here also as a subscriber. So make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell icon and the word all so that we can keep you in the know when we've got new content coming out because I will be back with a premiere on Monday and you'll want to make sure that you're here for that. It's really an outstanding project. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the drum roll. Are you ready? All right. And the winner is Patricia. You are the winner. Congratulations, Patricia. You have won the mini alphabet dies. Okay, Patricia, so this is what you need to do. You need to email me. My address is right there on the screen and say, I'm a winner and give me your full name and mailing address so I can get those off in the mail to you. Okay, I have no way of getting these to our winners unless you contact me. Okay, that's really, really important. All right, so let me take Patricia's name off of here. And what do you guys say? You wanna see some more cool stuff? Of course you do because the best is yet to come. All right, here we go. I am going to pause for a quick drink. Again, if you're just joining us, um, I'm getting over COVID. And I'm the one doing all the talking. Do you remember I mentioned to you in one of the papers that there was a color that you hadn't seen yet? I'm trying to pull it out. It's this one. You're like, I've never seen that color before. You might be thinking it's very vanilla, which has been around for a while, but you are wrong. Are you ready? It's a new color called Basic Beige. Oh, looky, looky. So here's what I did. Here's the cardstock. Here's the stamped image. Just a real simple solid leaf image I had hanging around. I just wanted to make sure that you could actually see it. I think Stampin' Up! does an outstanding job of the color coordination. Doesn't the label look exactly like the color? Come on, incredible. But better yet, they've come out with a coordinating ribbon, which means when you go to design your projects, you're gonna be able to easily be able to color coordinate everything. And this is the beauty of Stampin' Up! They've done a fabulous job over 35 years of color coordination. So a brand new core color called Basic Beige. You're definitely gonna to wanna to add this. It is absolutely stunning. So I wanted to make sure I took time to share that with you as well. Let me move that paper off to the side because now I have to tell you, I think we're getting in to some of the best part. How about some other designer series paper? Because if you're like me, we love designer series paper. 
All right, let me grab some paper here, and I'm going to start with this first pile. Oh, you know what? I found another bundle. Let's do this another bundle. <laughs> There's so much stuff lined up here, you guys. This table is full. All right, this is Adventurous Sky, and I thought, oh my gosh, masculine cards all the way. I have a dear friend who is a pilot for United Airlines, Jen Timko, love you bunches, and I saw this and thought, she needs a card for me. But the one thing I loved about this is I don't think it necessarily has to be just masculine. If you've got those outdoorsy friends, man, this is the way to go. Love the dies because you can build your own airplanes. Don't you love that? There's also propellers that can go onto the die cut images or on the stamped image. And guess what? You see this little piece right here? This is the toggle tail is what I'm calling it. It goes to the back of the plane. It'll hold your banner greeting. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, again, a bundle will save you 10%. Now, it has coordinating designer series paper, of course. It's called Take to the Sky. I'm going to put that off here, up here at the top. And once again, we've been delving into the paper. This is all we've got left of this one specific pattern. Because how could you go wrong with clouds? You can use them for everything. This is the opposite side. I fell in love with it equally as much because when can you not use a good plaid, right? All right, so this is the first one. Let me move those off to the side. We'll get back to those. Here comes the next one. Look at this. Oh, you know, pictures are amazing, but when you actually get to see it on a big screen, it makes a huge difference, doesn't it? And that beautiful, deep, mossy meadow color. Look at that. Love that architectural kind of look. Look at the map. And then this one. Now, you might be looking at this going, what is this? Now, this is something Stampin' Up! started a couple years ago, and I'm loving it. All you have to do is cut those babies out, and you've got instant tags to add to your scrapbooking and to your card making. These panels can be added to cards or scrapbooks as well. Instant designing, quick and easy. Now, let's flip these over. This, of course, is the one I showed you. But look at the other side. So we have more of a generic light gray. Look at that one could be used all year round. I love this. Isn't that fantastic? Kind of like it would look like from the sky if you were flying. And of course, I love this because doesn't this just scream water? So this is going to work great with all your aquatic stamps as well. So anything that's going to relate to the ocean, whether it's sea life, whether it's boating, you're set. Papers are incredible. So incredible. Oh, Wendy, you're so sweet. I see your comment. We love our veterans. All right, so in addition to all this, there is also these. These are brand new industrial trinkets. So let me show these to you. Gina said, I have to have those, Mom. I said, okay. So here we go. They're double-sided. So one side is got like a starburst kind of pattern, but not feminine at all, and it's etched inside the metal. The other side is faceted here at the top. I'm hoping that's picking up on camera. This is going to add a little extra oomph to your card, but you know what? Quite frankly, I think it's worth it. I don't know about you, but sometimes an extra embellishment can really take a project from this level to the next. So I want to make sure I share those with you. All right, let's move on to some more designer series papers. These papers I, were, I was able to purchase, but I don't have the coordinating products for it. The first is this. It's called Mediterranean Blooms, and if you love color, just, I hope you're holding on to your chair. Here we go. Look at these oranges and these beautiful lemon flowers. Are you ready? The designer series paper alone is outstanding, but there is a coordinating stamp set with the oranges. Some of you might remember the stamp set called Apple Harvest from a couple years ago. This is, quote, a sister set with the oranges. Now, the lemons can be cut from the designer series paper to make beautiful cards. Could be used for anything, right? And here we go. We've got some more patterns here. But here comes the other side. Oh, come on. I bet you didn't suspect that, did you? Blues are huge right now. Navy and yellows are really, really popular. If you go furniture shopping, clothes shopping, even for accessories like pillows and blankets, you'll see these colors widely represented. Absolutely stunning paper and definitely patterns that you can use on all kinds of projects. Once again, Mediterranean Blooms. That's the name of this designer series paper. All right, there's one other paper that doesn't have a stamp set that I have yet, and it's called Full of Life. I like to put the name there because I know time and time again, people are asking me. Now, if you love color, just be ready to be wowed. These are beautiful watercolored papers and then printed. 
This is a six by six pack. You're gonna get 48 sheets. Look at all these colors. Is this not incredible? Oh my gosh, we're almost running out of room, right? Let's go down here. And then here are the others that are inside this packet. Birthday cards, celebration cards, retirement, scrapbooking, anything that needs a cheerful element, right? So let's flip these over because I want you to see these. These are also beautiful and watercolor. How incredible is this? I know I can use these for all kinds of things. I can die cut from this. Look at how pretty. And again, we have more designs here as well. It just gets better and better and better, doesn't it? There's truly something for everyone. I love these beautiful papers. Again, it's called Full of Life Designer Series Papers. They come six by six. All right, let's take a look at my little thing here. And you know what's next? The thing you've really been waiting for. Let's talk about the new in colors. Are you ready? All right, here we go. I'm going to introduce you to Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, and Shy Shamrock. Now let's talk about this one right here. If you've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or perhaps a longtime Stampin' Up! customer, you're like, we had that color before, and you are absolutely right. I think it originally came out in 2018. Yes, I've been around that long, 25 years with Stampin' Up! Plus. We had Pretty in Pink. It is the exact same color. You cannot take a new ink refill and refill an old ink pad. The formulation of the ink has changed over the years. Please keep that in mind. But it is a returning color as part of this in color packet. Aren't these gorgeous? Now, I want to talk to you about this because I've already had people email me. They've seen other videos going, is that like Coastal Cabana? It's close, but it's more of an aqua color. So I want to make sure you know that. The other thing I've been getting questions about is about Shy Shamrock. They wanted to know how close this was to an old jade color. Now, I don't keep any retired products because we just don't use them. They don't go with the color coordination. Once they're retired, they're gone. I do find that this is definitely more of an emerald compared to the jade. And it's a perfect green on the Stampin' Up! palette. We don't have one this color. So, so pretty. But here is another question you all ask me all the time and I wanted to do you. A little tip tonight. Do you see here the label? Some of you email me saying, where did you get that? How do you do that? I'm going to show you. All right, so let me push these up out of the way. Here on the back of the ink pad, when you purchase it, there are a strip of labels. Do you see here? I'm going to use my take your pick tool. I'm going to come up here in the corner and I'm just going to slightly loosen this so I can show you that these pieces can individually come out. They are in different languages because Stampin' Up! is a global company. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick the English one. And it figures I've got one that just wants to be persnickety because you're all watching, right? I'm going to come to the front of my ink pad, which is here where the lip is. This is going to go here. Now, something that's really, really important. Here's two Lisa tips for you. You don't have to do them. I am looking for my silicone craft sheet because I'm going to need it for this. I'm going to remove the rest of this. You do not want to leave the sticker on the back of your ink pad because if any of that section is lifted when you open this ink pad it's going to get caught because this flips this is in a different language so there's one here at the bottom do you see it, it has absolutely no text on it you see it's empty okay watch we're going to open this up down here i like to place that little strip and here's why when gina and i are stamping together or i have friends over stamping Oftentimes, when you have similar color families, we're not sure what color it is. Because at first glance, you might think that's pumpkin pie, right? Or daffodil, you're not sure. But if you have the color strip from the label here, it's going to make life a lot easier. Here comes another thing that you often tell me when they're brand new. Oh, they're so hard. Okay, don't laugh, okay? But you are all going to run to the kitchen and you're going to get one of these once night's over. This is a birthday candle. Okay, I know that this is wax. Now watch before you criticize me. I have done this to all my ink pads for years. The shape of this is perfect for the track. Now watch me. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run it right inside of here, back and forth a couple times. Do you see it right inside the track here? And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. You don't wanna press so hard that you're like peeling off all the wax. You just wanna kind of wax the track. I'm gonna use my silicone craft sheet only because I don't have a piece of cardstock nearby. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna give this a good tap because if there's any wax in that track, you wanna make sure that it comes out. Do you see it? Just give it a little tap. It's gonna take a couple times, but watch. 
I know, this changes everything, doesn't it? So let's explain to you how this opens. You can push a little bit from the back, but because I have arthritic fingers, oftentimes that's very hard for me. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift here, that's the lip, this is gonna open up like this, and this is gonna slide under. If you did not take off the label here, when you go to slide under, oftentimes it's gonna be in the way and it's gonna catch. Ask me how I know. So I've had that problem. I also had it where I set it down and this sticks to something on my work surface. Arlene is saying you can use chapstick. I've never tried that. That's also a great thing. This fits so perfectly. I just wanted to make sure I shared that tip with you. Just make sure you get any of the wax out of there. You don't want that in your ink pad, okay? Big game changer. Let's move over now to more talk about these end colors. So now I've got them at the top of your screen so that you can see them. Let me show you some other coordinating products. Let's talk about the designer series paper. Let's talk about first this one. This is pretty in pink. Here's your ink pad. This is the Stampin' Blends marker. So the dark and the light, I did a little blending here at the center. This is the coordinating ribbon. Oh, come on. It's just, this is like heaven for me, people. <laughs> this, is, this is the cardstock. There's an assortment of the new in colors in designer series papers in six by six. Again, double-sided, so you have lots of choices. I'm gonna tell you right now, these are the best patterns I think we've had in the last five years. So versatile, absolutely beautiful. So here's the pretty in pink. So let me just kind of put this one here off to the side. But if that's not enough, there is a glimmer paper that coordinates with it. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, the one thing I love about Stampin' Up! Glimmer paper, watch. Do you see any glitter coming off? Mm -mm. It's nice and thin. You don't have any backing to deal with. It's going to die cut and cut beautifully. The glimmer paper is sold in an assortment of all the end colors. Just beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna place this one off to the side because now we're going to work with this one. Next is Summer Splash. Here is the stamp and the Stampin' Blends. Here is your ribbon. Here is the card stock. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this color. And then here we go. We have got the designer series paper. Again, same patterns, just different color. And of course we have that gorgeous glimmer paper. Oh, so pretty. I love sparkle. It just speaks to my heart. I'm gonna move some of these out of the way because we've got a lot more colors to go here, don't we? All right, next up is going to be this one. This is called Peach Pie. I think they're sitting around eating at Stampin' Up! when they're naming these because now we have pecan pie, pumpkin pie, and now peach pie. All sounds delicious if you ask me. So for this one, let me just get off my little paper clip because I got them all clipped together for you. Here is the stamped image and the Stampin' Blends marker blend right here. Here is the cardstock. Oh, isn't that yummy or what? The beautiful coordinating ribbon, the designer series paper. I know we've already showed you the patterns, but there you go. And then the glimmer paper. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Just gorgeous. All right, we're getting there. This next one is called Shy Shamrock, all the way up here on the left of your screen. Here is the stamped image and the blends. Pretty, huh? Here's your ribbon. Oh, I'm telling you, color just makes me happy. And then your cardstock, designer series paper. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, huh? And of course, the glimmer paper. Look at that. Don't you make wish that St. Patrick's Day was still coming on the ways you could get it? Really fun. But I have to tell you, I think this is my favorite, favorite color, okay? This is Petunia Pop, right here. It's got a little glare from the studio lights. There you go, Petunia Pop. Look at this color. It's not pink. It's not purple. It is the most gorgeous shade of pinky magenta you have ever seen. Here is the ribbon. I'm going to try to bring that a little closer so I can see it a little bit better. Here is the cardstock. Oh, be still my heart. And then the designer series paper. Really, really pretty colors. And look how they work together, right? And of course, the glimmer paper. Again, fantastic quality glimmer paper that you're absolutely going to love. Now, let's take a quick pause with my buttons because you know what I think we should do? I'm trying to look here at my camera and see how many more prize patrols. Oh, we've got one more. So you know what? I'm going to turn you back down. Hold on because I want to show you these. So there are in-color embellishments. We're going to do that last prize patrol. 
I always list the colors on the inside lid of my embellishments. It just makes it easier for me when I'm paging through all my embellishments to see what colors are represented so I can design easier. These are a classic resin dot, nice and smooth. You're gonna see the profile is very, very small. These are shimmery. I love these because I love sparkle. Look at that. And again, represented one of each of the five colors in that color family. Just gorgeous stuff, huh? All right, we're gonna do the last prize patrol right now. Let me grab it. And I have a brand new bundle of the Cheerful Daisies, which is being carried over into the new catalog. It'll be in the online exclusive, so you won't see it in the publication on an actual design page. But there's always features on the online store for you to get samples from. Stamps and dies, these are going to go together to a lucky winner. Go ahead now and start putting in your first name, last name, city, and state if you would like to win. Go ahead and start that now. I'm going to give you a few seconds to do that because I know there's a delay between talking and speaking so that you can go ahead and put that information in. I want to make sure, too, that you know all about my PDF tutorial library. If you go to lisastampstudio.com and you click on Shop, you'll see in the drop-down my PDF tutorial library. There are hundreds of tutorial bundles for you grouped by stamp set name. Lots of ideas for you. So you can immediately download those for a small purchase. I only charge $1 per page. That includes multiple pictures of every card, step-by-step -step instructions, cutting dimensions, and a complete supply list. I take all the guesswork out for you and lots of fabulous ideas there. So go take a look. You might be really surprised at some of the stamp sets you see in there. And there are some that are um, a little bit older. So if you've got older stamp sets, go grab yourself some ideas there. All right. I think we are ready. Let's go over here to our drum roll. Okay, it's still scrolling. And the winner is Beth Strickland from Greer, South Carolina. Did I say that right? Is it pronounced Greer? Congratulations to you, Beth. Yay, you are our winner. So exciting. Now, Beth, you're going to need to email me. And apparently, I didn't put up the right slide, so let's switch over there. It's a lot to do buttons and demonstrate. So there's my email address, Beth. Please email me at lisa at lisastampstudio.com so you can claim your prize. I will need your mailing address. A couple things before we go. Uh, first and foremost, we talked a little bit about Stamp Studio memberships. And I want you to know that there are two levels, level one and level two. $5 for the whole month is going to get you a brand new tutorial to your inbox every Monday morning. And guess what? If you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I got you covered. These are not watermarked. You can use these project photos and tutorials for classes and clubs. Distribute them as you like. The only thing you can't do is sell them. And if you want a little bit more, there's level two, where I include a monthly fun fold project as well, not watermarked. Uh, we do giveaways as well, and of course, a discount in that PDF tutorial lever. I wanted to make sure that you knew all about that. Don't forget to come back next Monday, which is April 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Gina and I will both be in the live chat. If you're sticking around for the Q&A, we're going to do that now. If you have a question, go ahead and type the letter Q in a colon and what your question is. I'll bring it up here on the screen so we can answer it live for you and everyone can see your answers. If you need to go, thank you so much for being here and we look forward to seeing you in the live chat with us next Thursday. Have a great evening, everyone. All right, I'm going to give you all just a moment to get your Q&A ready. I'm going to make some room here between those beautiful colors and I am going to filter out for some questions. So this is a very informal part where I'm going to go up here and try to type in the queue so we can sort out your questions. Give me just a minute while you see the side of my head. All right. Okay, so first question is here from Bonnie. Bonnie, hi, I'm so glad you're here tonight. Thanks for joining us. She wants to know when the new glass mat will be available. So let's backtrack. During um, last month, there was a promotion for the new starter kit. So if you want to join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator, hobby or otherwise, they were providing a free glass mat and some other products as part of the starter kit. Um, there are glass mats left over. Stampin' Up! did indicate that they will be for sale, but they did not tell us when. Bonnie, I wish I knew. It's a question we've been asking. All we know is that they will be for sale, but we don't know when. Uh, I don't see them in the catalog, so I'm assuming they'll maybe come in an online exclusive. So I would just recommend that maybe subscribe to my newsletter, and when they're available, of course, we'll be sure to let you know. Or just be watching my YouTube videos so that you can be in the know. Sorry, I wish I had a definitive answer for you, but we don't have one. I'm sorry. Okay, the next question is, 
When can demonstrators order? Demonstrators will be able to pre-order from a small select group of products beginning tomorrow, which is April 2nd. Remember, if you're not a demonstrator, you'll be able to order on May 1st from the entire Mirage of product, which is really, really exciting. Okay, and I just answered Tammy had the same question, so I told her how to do that. And Cynthia asked, when do the sale prices start? They start tomorrow, April 2nd. So please do me a favor. If you head over to um, my website, you'll be able to find under shop. We'll take you over the website. If you put any of the products in there that are retiring, you'll be able to find which ones they are and what's left in stock. You know, people shop early because they know the current in colors are retiring. So if you need certain ink refills or cardstock to stock up, now is the time. So make sure you check those things out. Um, I think I, she figured out how to order. I answered Tammy's. Mary says, I purchased the colored acetate and don't know what to do with it. Help. Colored acetate. Hmm. Um, I'm assuming it's a product you got somewhere else because I don't ever recall Stampin' Up! selling colored acetate. But I'm going to give you a great idea. If you go here to my YouTube channel and in the little magnifying glass, that's a search icon, type in the word acetate. I made a card that's an all acetate card with an overlay and I did a couple techniques with it. I don't know how your acetate was colored, so I don't know how it's going to react to inks, but I'm gonna encourage you to check out that video. If for some reason you cannot find the video on my YouTube channel, just email me. I'll be happy to help you, okay? All right, I hope that helps answer that. And then let's move on here. Uh, Cynthia says, where can I get the artboard? Gina, if you are still here in the live chat, maybe you can tag Cynthia. The artboard that I showed you is this one. I have it linked for you on my website under shop, my favorite things, and then there's categories. Click on craft room favorites and then scroll. It's going to take you to my personal Amazon storefront. I'm an affiliate for these products with Amazon. They are not competing to stamp enough, so it's completely in compliance. And we earn a few cents off the sales of each of those, which helps support our production costs. So we really would appreciate it if you use those links. But you're going to love that artboard. It's amazing. Okay, I am scrolling down now to uh, Colleen. Uh, Colleen, for some reason, yours doesn't want to click. Let me scroll down a little bit further. Kathy Mahon says, do you have a retired product store? I do, but it's empty right now. So I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, thank you, Gina. Just corrected me. Sudafed. <laughs> April 9th for the last chance sale. I just saw your text. Thank you, Gina. April 9th. I said April 2nd. It's April 9th. I think my head's ahead of itself. Correction, please. April 9th. So it's going to be next Tuesday. Okay. April 9th on the retired products. Um, the question was, Retired Product Store, it's all sold out. It sells out very, very quickly because I might mark it down super fast. We have six boxes of things that are retiring. They are all going to be inventoried. They are all collated. They're put into grab bag bundles, and they will be on my website, but probably not until June. I would recommend highly that you subscribe to my newsletter because that's how I let people know that it's out. So go to my website, scroll to the bottom, and fill out that little area with your name and email address, and then you'll be in the know of everything that happens here. It's a great question. Thank you, Kathy. Um, Althea, I just corrected myself, April 9th. Thank you, Gina. Gina, I really appreciate that. Um, Joan has asked me a question about paper shares. Have I ever considered it? Some demonstrators are doing them. The answer is uh, yes and no. Joan, many, many, many years ago, many years ago, I did paper shares and they are a ton of work. Hours and hours and hours of manpower of cutting and the number of blades you go through. And quite frankly, um, it's just not something we can support here. I just don't have the manpower to create hundreds of piles of cardstock and get it all cut in a reasonable amount of time. So no, I don't do product shares. I'm sorry. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Joan says, I'm still waiting for my catalog. Anything I can do to get one? Well, new catalogs are not gone out yet. So Joan, you are welcome to email me. Remember what I said during the video. If you didn't hear it, I'd be happy to reiterate. My customers that spent at least $50 in the last six months are going to automatically get them by the last week of April-ish. If you haven't placed an order, you're still welcome to do so. And then let me know you want the catalog. 
Or of course, if you want to purchase one on my website, that information is there for you as well. It's just too early for the new one just yet. Um, let me take a look. Um, I'm scroll they're scrolling so fast, bear with me. Uh, Anita says, where do I find the small item list to pre-order? Uh, there is going to be no list, Anita, if you're a demonstrator. You might want to reach out to your team leader. Everything will be available in the demonstrator store that's available tomorrow. Uh, Helen asks a good question. Can Stampin' Up! give recipes for the cards illustrated in the catalogs? They don't because of space. But if you need those recipes, you can contact your demonstrator and we have access to them. We don't have them just yet for the May one, but we will. Uh, and Ginger corrected me on the date correction. Hold on one second. Gina is texting me. Um, and I think I just answered. Is there a list of items for the day? I already answered that, Gina. Okay. And Colleen, I'm just going to highlight that just to make sure. Try again. Is there a list of items available for demonstrators to start ordering tomorrow? No. Demonstrators will no longer get a list. The information will be on the demonstrator website. And you're going to click under shop products, see everything, and everything that's new will be at the beginning and you can pick and choose. Okay, I hope that helps you. All right, that is it for tonight. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions and I'm so grateful that you were here with me. Again, if this is your first time, please come back. Next week, we've got card demonstrations I know you are going to love. Gina, thanks for all your hard work tonight, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.